everybody, and I'm so glad you are with me today. I am so over winter, and we're just getting started, really, but I'm ready for spring, ready for either cruise or spring break or something fun in the sun. And yesterday, I went out looking for a new pair of sunglasses just to get in the spirit of things, and I uh, wanted to by the Ray-Ban Blaze Cat Eye Sunglass. It's kind of a onesie that is a mirrored sunglass that uh, the mirror goes all the way across the bridge and up to the arms. I tried them on. I was sure that I wanted them. Tried them on and they're not for me. They look great on everybody else, but I don't know. I probably don't need them anyway. I have a pretty good collection, and that is the reason why I thought I would do this video about my sunglasses. It's my sunglass collection, and uh, I have quite a few. That is a, it's one of those accessories that, you know, you can use all the time. You can use them year-round. You can use them to go with just about any outfit if you have the right sunglasses. That's my, that's my thought and my uh, reason for always needing that extra pair. I was looking in the viewfinder in the camera and um, realized there's just not enough light in this room for videoing. So I added a ring light behind the camera. And of course, that's going to throw a reflection on the lens when you see them. And it looks like a little circle on the lens, but let's try to ignore that. This has turned into my favorite pair for now. These are Tom Ford's. I don't know if you can see the box. It has a very nice hardcover box, which I love because if I do not have a hardcover box, I am going to sit on them in the car and ruin them. I'm going to have them in the bottom of my handbag and destroy them. So I always look for that hard case. And if they do not have it, um, I always ask if I can get it. Sometimes I can order them for you. I have this pair. Tom Ford's, they're very substantial. They're not too dressy, not too casual, and I find myself reaching for these most of the time. And you probably saw these in my last video when I was leaving New Orleans um, early that morning and thought it best that I put on the sunglasses because it wasn't a pretty sight. But these are my favorites for now. Oh, I may have a scratch. I hope not. And then um, I have my second favorite. These these were the runner up. These are runner up now, but they used to be my absolute favorite. These are Tiffany and Company. I've had these for several years. It has the hard case, and it's an actual little box with a magnetic closure. And of course, they give you all of the accessories with it. You can see this box is pretty worn. I still have the papers on that, the documentation on that. But these love these they are yellow gold and they look a lot like the tom fords but they don't the tom ford has a tortoise shell on the front and on the arm but these do not they have a much thinner see the, the little thin arm and this is all yellow gold love these the problem that i have with in most of these glasses is this nose pad this little across the bridge and then you come down to the nose pad and it, it, the, the pad arm that sticks out, I cannot put them on, on top of my head because they get tangled in my hair and that's not a good thing. It's not cute to be walking around trying to get the sunglasses out of your hair. I saw these Tiffany glasses in an advertisement in a magazine and I just had to have them. I. Uh, tried to order them, but Tiffany and company had already sold out of them. And I called, they gave me some ideas of places to check. And uh, I did chase them down. Uh, you would have thought I was a member of Interpol. I looked everywhere for these. And then when um, I got ready to do this video, I looked again and now they're completely sold out. But you may be able to find them uh, pre-owned on, on a website. I, if you really like them, it's worth the try. I am a Ray-Ban fan for sure. I have these basic black sunglasses and I've wear these quite a bit. Actually, I think I had these on 
when I was doing the get to know me video and I was actually sat walking and they're pretty casual so that works perfectly and they're a darker lens so if, if the sun's out uh, these are good for the darker lens with with the darker lens I have these Ray-Bans and I'm gonna step out of the camera and be right back I wanted to show you these two pairs of Ray-Bans that I have that I I love them they're beautiful but I wear them reluctantly because hold on I'm gonna show you they have this rubberized arm this one is a uh, black rubberized on the white gold and this pair has a tortoise shell on the yellow gold they're gorgeous sunglasses but they get caught in your hair and if you're wearing a ponytail you can just about not get them off at all so um i do wear them but i would wear them more if they were easier to uh Get on and off. A pair of glasses I have. These are not Ray Bans. I uh, picked them up somewhere on my travels, and I like them because they do look like Ray Bans, but they're not. And they have the gold lens, which I love. It's great for the beach. Just fun sunglasses. I don't know if you can see the gold tint to it, maybe, but. They're really fun. However, I scratched these about a month ago and I'm sick of it. So I am on the hunt for the gold lens. Gotta have them. You can tell that I like large lens sunglasses. I really hope the smaller lens come back in at some point. I have a couple pair. Let's see if this is a pair. I do. I have them right here. I have a couple of pair of the little lens that were real popular way back when. And I'm going to keep them because they always say uh, that everything comes back in style. Of course, when, they, when it does come back in style, it, it's always a different um, shape, size, color, something that just makes your old ones look old. But sometimes I just don't care. I just wear it anyway you like this kind of video if you do give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you as a subscriber uh, this pair of sunglasses that I'm going to show you is a, a an off-white enamel sunglasses that I'm looking to see the brand on this as well um, I want to say Dior but I'm not seeing Dior so let's assume that they're not but I do love them and I wear these uh, in the summer they tend to be a little bit bold, but sometimes we feel a little bit bold. Now these are my newest pair. I bought these a couple of months ago. They're Swarovski, and they are in the hard case. Well, the back's a little bit softer, but the front's harder, so maybe that'll keep me from destroying them. They have the Swarovski crystal little design on the side arm and it reads Swarovski on the side of this so I'm positive of that and there are cat eye, a little bit of a cat eye they're not too exaggerated and they're a little bit dressier I could probably wear this with a, maybe a dress going to some event not bad no not bad at all I won't bother you with every pair of sunglasses I have because that would take us a, an hour and a half but because I have a lot of just little inexpensive sunglasses I'll show you a basket of sunglasses I have that I used to have when we lived a little closer to the beach and we'd have guests in and if they forgot sunglasses or they needed some just to wear to the beach you because I never wear good sunglasses down to the beach you're going to get sand in the hinges and everything else so uh, hold on I'll show you that See, I have this little basket. It used to be pretty full, but uh, if guests are over, I just have them grab a pair if they want it, and uh, you can pick these up just about anywhere. There's just little, most of them are little plastic sunglasses, but it's a fun uh, little guest treat. Well, this is a pair of sunglasses I bought, not for eye protection at all, because it just barely has this mirrored gradient lens on it, but they're just kind of fun to wear. Um, I do see a little bit of a scratch on here. I'm in front of a window so I can have a little natural light today. 
and uh, I'm seeing a lot of imperfections that need to be corrected. But um, if you run across a pair like this, you might enjoy them. I'd, they're no name brand. They, these I picked up probably at a vendor somewhere on the... I have this pair of Oakley sunglasses that I really like. I particularly love the case. I have had them forever, so I doubt they're still um, out on the market. I've, they've pretty well seen their best days, and I find myself just wearing them as an accessory. Well, let's all think warm thoughts and be ready for spring. See you soon. Goodbye.